Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking over the geothermal generator. Obscure name, you probably have never heard of it nor used it in industrial craft, but let me tell you this thing is awesome actually. So, first thing we're going to do is first of all I'm going to set myself into survival mode and make this easier. And one thing that you're going to need to learn to know how to do if you've missed the first tutorial is how to make these casings. So. For these ones specifically, you're going to need a forge hammer and a tin ingot. Get a tin plate, and you're going to turn into these tin casings here. So I'm actually going to throw these out because I don't need them. But we're going to be making this universal fluid cell. So to make that, it is four tin casings and a glass pane that you will be putting in the center of the crafting table, surrounding it with the casings, and you will get this universal fluid cell. Onward after that, you will then go over to this area right here, which is the geothermal generator. And to make that, you're going to need a regular generator, two fluid cells, uh, four glass, and two of these iron item casings. So put these two on the bottom, put the generator here. Put the two glass there and then put the two fluid cells here and you get the geothermal generator. Now I have one set up here. Now how this works is it takes one lava or any heat source block, uh, mainly lava. And what this universal fluid cell does is once you right click it, it absorbs the full block of lava. But once you stick it in here, it will drain it and it will generate power. Now this one can only store 2.4 thousand E you as opposed to the generator which can store four but these connect up about the same way as the rest of these you can connect them to a bat box like this and if we go into creative mode and actually grab a cable so let's grab it let's just grab a cable like that and we'll grab a battery box which that is right here and then i'm going to place whoops i'm going to place it like that and this will start getting drained into here, and then I'm going to actually grab another one of those universal fluid cells. Uh, lava, where are you at? I could just look it up. Lava right here. So you can stack the universal fluid cells, and you're just going to put them in, that is, that is not lava, lava. I just want to show you how fast the thing goes up. So we're going with just normal, just normal lava. So you can see it'll absorb eight right away if you put in a full stack and it will start to absorb the millibuckets, megabuckets of stuff. And you can just see how fast this thing actually charges it. Now, if you don't have an infinite source of lava, that's not nice, but if you're in the nether or something and you need to clear out lava, but you also want to make some sort of generator with it, this is your go-to right here. So that is the geothermal generator, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I thank you all for watching, and I hope to see all of you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.